everyone, this is Master Max 88, and welcome to Five Nights at Fuzz Boobs. You read the title correctly. That is indeed the name of the game I'm gonna be playing today, and I suspect this is gonna play similarly to Five Nights at Freddy's, so it's gonna be the same type of gameplay. So let's just go ahead and open up this game here, see what's gonna happen. We have a glazed donut. That's the first thing we see here, and uh, once again, be very careful when dealing with glazed donuts. We don't know with all certainty whether or not Flying Shark has been messing around with those glazed donuts. So it's in your best interest to just stay away from them. Uh, ever since we've learned the things we've learned in Fat Nights at Franny's, glazed donuts have just been kind of a dangerous item, but <clears throat> that aside, let's see what the game says here. This game contains flashing lights and static effects. We advise you to not play this game if you are sensitive to these. Not a problem. And then we have another warning that says, This game contains elements not suited for children, or those who are easily disturbed by edgy or, well, that kind of content. By clicking OK, you're agreeing that you're at least 18 years old, and do not mind being exposed to the contents of this game. If you are under the age of 18, click, no, I'm under 18, to exit the game. Please wait until you are 18, perhaps? Make your grandmother play this game until then. She'll love it. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. See, my grandmother really likes Pac-Man, for instance. So this is not similar to Pac-Man. I don't think <laughs> she would enjoy it all that much, you know? Uh, Five Nights at Fuzz Boobs Definitive Edition supports censored mode. And thank God for that. I'm definitely gonna... I'm gonna leave this on. I'm gonna leave this on. This is really gonna make editing a billion times easier for me. So, for just having a censored option in this game, you guys are like, amazing. I'm giving the game a 10 out of 10 just for that, honestly. It's incredible that they put this in. Uh, but yeah, there it is. That's our menu right here. Um, I would imagine that's our main gal, which we'll probably see quite a bit. And, um, seeing that this is the definitive edition, uh, we're probably gonna have all five nights. Hell, we're probably gonna have bonus nights on top of that, so... This video will be split. I'm not gonna play the entirety of it in one go. I'm rather gonna split it, let's say, two nights per video. That seems like, um, a pretty good number of nights and should make for enough content. Uh, we already have extras. Oh, there it is, glazed! To unlock character shortcuts, you must see their scenes. Shortcuts are not available with sensor mode. Of course, of course. I will show all the uncensored stuff on Patreon, of course. Like, you probably guessed it. All the uncensored material will be showcased on Patreon, but for the sake of YouTube, we're just gonna proceed here. <clears throat> A bunch of pizza slices. Keeping those fuzz boobs away. I'm looking at the uh, advertisement here. It says, Looking for someone who can remain alert and focused throughout the night and resist all sexual temptations presented. I'm the man for this, uh, for this situation. I'm a good Christian boy. I've said it many times. I'm a very good Christian boy, okay? I don't do those kind of things, okay? I'm a holy man, good Christian boy. Also, that is a very nice fan. And a very nice glazed donut. Which I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna eat, like I said. <clears throat> We probably should just stay away from it. Pick up, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Hello? Hello, hello! You're calling Freddy's Pizzeria. We can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message. Thank you. Hello? Hey, asshole. Are you there, or have you already gotten your stupid ass killed? <sighs> okay. I wanted to leave a message. But I guess your hands are too busy doing it to the girls, huh? Well, take that thumb out of your ass and pay attention. You think this job's going to be smooth sailing, right? What? Just an easy paycheck with a side of free f material, a place where you can jerk your tiny winner off all night long. Excuse but you? But in reality, 
Unless you properly guard yourself and this decrepit, shittily constructed building, your asshole's gonna be torn open with your broken in two places. So if I was you, I'd guard that virginity as if your life depended on it. Well, about Why? that. Why? Well, I don't know about you, but I think this up place is haunted or something. I wouldn't buy the engineer's explanation. They say that the girls are programmed where if they are not used for too long, they'll search the building for someone to f them. Or for them to f If you're into that, I won't judge you. <laughs> you know, this actually used to be our way of getting some sad fuckers to work a minimum wage. Offer them to f team for affinity every night. Really saved a sh load doing that. But, um, that came to an end after somebody got their head used as a chair. It got crushed like a f***ing watermelon. A fair trade-off, I'd say. Anywho, after a few lawsuits, we've given you a couple of sliding doors with lights to go with them. For your protection. Lucky you. They're both still running going. on the bare minimum amount of power still deemed legal by the state. So technically, it's not our fault if you are injured and or killed while My on duty. My god. And uh I believe that's everything. That's all my Have a good night. Offers. Oh, uh try not to waste the door's power off. I've done that before and my d still healing after being snapped in three different directions. It's looking like a cockroach's leg down there. Try to pick up the phone tomorrow. Oh. Thank you for that, I suppose. But holy crap! We're halfway through night one. All of it was just like this one phone call. This one incredibly vulgar phone call. Like, that guy was hella rude. Just when you thought the phone guy in Fat Nights at Fenny's was kind of rude, this guy shows up. A whole different level of rude, let me tell you something. Goodness gracious, but yeah, uh... Bunny's on the move. I was gonna say Bonfi, but I don't think it's the case here. I think we're dealing with, like, the, um, original name. So, Bonnie's on the move. Yikes! Uh, she's getting close, and we have... Tutorial for some reason over here. I don't know if she's a threat. She could be. Bonnie's still there. Chica's taking a look at uh, Pikachu getting a syringe up the butt cheek. Anyway, um, Bonnie, where's Bonnie at? Oh my goodness! I'm sorry, Chica is. What? What are you? What are you? Hello? What are you doing? What are you- what's going on here? What- I'm looking respectfully- I'm a good Christian boy, okay? I'm, I'm looking respectfully as a good Christian boy. You can trust me. You can- you can trust me. You know, I- I am pure, alright? My soul is pure. And so are my thoughts, okay? You can definitely trust me when it comes to that. Nothing weird. I've just lost track of Bonnie, but you know what? No problem. I got through night one. Easy peasy. Again. Most of it was just a phone call. A really long phone call. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. That was just uh, one of the easiest first night out of any like fan games of Final of Freddy's I've ever played. So I'm uh, going to hope for a bit more of a challenge for night two. Here we go again. Here we go again. Another phone call. Hey, would you look at that? Hot shit over here surviving their first night. I almost <laughs> believe that you could do it. <laughs> I'm not shocked at all that you came back. Was one romantic date with your right hand not enough? You sick furry bastard. I won't talk as much tonight, cause I'm sure the girls have started to move already. What's with this guy? You just stay on your toes. Throughout the week, their less for security guards become stronger. I like to think of it as you just blew on the bitches. <laughs> By the way, do be mindful of those doors. Those slabs of raw iron can tear through the girls' it's clean off when used at the wrong moment. Hell, last week on the left door, a guard had his cock separated in two trying to f the fox girl. I've never seen so much blood before. Thanks uh, last Sims. thing, Thanks make sure Sims, you check of course. Nico. Should be Cam 1C or something. The character in there is sort of a picky bit. Yeah, she isn't no, satisfied by the flashlights we give her. I wouldn't put it past her to want your ass instead. If you keep an eye on her, she should stay away. Unless you want her in your office, then do nothing, I guess. No. Anyways, I'm off now before it gets too bad. 
Be sure to check outside your office, cause those furry whole sluts are probably standing there by now. Good luck, dipshit. Lovely as always. Lovely as always. What a gentleman. An absolute role model. Uh, I'm looking respectfully. I just, I know I say that a lot, but I just want to make sure that it's clear. You know, some people may doubt whether or not I'm looking respectfully, but I really am. Okay, I'm looking respectfully. Also, that glazed donut is still right there on the desk. If there we go, we're finally getting some action here. We're probably gonna hear it. Also, I just noticed the cupcake. It looks like a bong. It is a bong, isn't it? Goodness gracious, and look at those drawings. Look at those drawings on the wall. Why are you still there? Bunny, you gotta go. You gotta go. You can't stay here forever. My god! I'm gonna run out of power because Bunny just ain't leaving. Dude, I'm thinking this shit is broken right now. There's like no way the animatronic stays there forever, right? Like at some point they gotta leave. Thank God. Finally. Bonnie, please just stay away. I'm busy. Can't you tell I'm busy right now? I, I, I gotta stop messing around. I gotta stop messing around. Gachika is still in the closet with the Rick Astley posters. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bunny! What are you. With the strum of Bunny's guitar, the end of the night became too far. Okay, yeah, we're not seeing Bunny scene. I will keep that for like the end part of the video. It's gonna be a patron exclusive again. If you want to see the good stuff, you gotta join the cool kids and be a patron supporter. But uh, before we get there, I gotta get through night two. Uh, it's just Bunny. Bunny's really persistent. I got through night two. I got through night two and I really, really almost messed it up again. The main issue I have with the game right now is that once they get at the door, they stay there forever. It just takes such a long time for them to actually leave that it just drains a lot of battery power and it kind of leaves you in a, a bad place for the rest of the night, so... That's my main issue with the game so far, but I got through um, night one and night two. And like I said, I'm going to split my videos in a way that I do two nights per video. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and uncensor and see what that does. I'm sorry, Mr. Editor. I'm really, really sorry. But we got to go take a look. What happens? I can already see. I can already see what happens. Bonnie is, uh... Revealing a bit more skin, let's just say. Also, what, Glaze is an extra scene? I'm not sure I want to touch that, though. What does that entail? Let, let's start with Bonnie. Bonnie Wukata's. Okay, alright. I, I can't have that reflection in the shades. Once again, this is uh, Patreon only, folks. Patreon only, all right? If you're on YouTube, I'm gonna put something that's completely unrelated to this. But if you're on Patreon, this is, this is the scene. I'm not gonna show the entirety of it because it's gonna get pretty awkward, but uh, you get the idea. You get the idea. Now, what about Glaze? I'm scared. Again, it's... <laughs> we're, 
what we've learned in Fat Nights at Frenny's. Oh. Shark glazing the donuts. It's literally flying shark glazing the donuts. I gotta get the hell out of there. It's exactly what I feared it would be. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. I need a break. I need to just step away from this game for a little bit. That was a lot for me to take in. Um. In, in my next video, Finance of Fuzz Boobs, I'm gonna continue with Night 3 and Night 4, and uh, I'm gonna reveal some more scenes, the one with Chica, and I'll try to reveal the one with um, Foxy and uh, Freddy as well. Not gonna touch the glaze scene ever again. That's traumatizing. That's straight up traumatizing. It, it just, like, gives an image of what Flying Shark does with the freaking donuts. You know what I mean? Not an image I wanted ever in my mind, but now it's there and it's gonna prevent me from sleeping for probably months. Not that I was sleeping a lot to begin with, but this sure ain't helping. But uh, there you have it, folks. That was uh, Five Nights at Fuzz Boobs. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun game. It was a fun game. Honestly, the highlight was the phone guy. For me, the, the phone guy just takes it. He was definitely the MVP in this whole thing. Uh, <laughs> I love the writing. The writing was exceptional. And the design for the animatronics is very interesting as well. So, great job to everyone involved in the making of this game. Uh, I'm very impressed. And it's still a 10 out of 10 for me, despite that scene with the donut. <laughs> it still remains a 10 out of 10. So... I'll continue to play this game, and uh, I hope you um, stay around to see more of it. And there's also going to be, of course, more videos about such series as uh, a Fortnite at Finny Fast Claire. Of course, Fat Nights at Finny's will return, inevitably. But as I wait for all of that to be ready and to, you know, be updated, I'm going to play different games like this one here. So I hope you enjoy those different games, and I hope you're going to subscribe and like this video so yep that's it for me be sure to join the great legions discord server to be updated about all kinds of different things i'm up to uh be sure to join the patreon page to see the uncensored scenes maybe you don't want to do it though <laughs> and i couldn't blame you uh but do consider it and uh yeah i'll see you in the next part and until then as always Glaze it away! I'm at the door! <laughs>